President Donald Trump has overturned decades of U.S. policy by saying it is time to recognize Israel's sovereignty over the occupied Golan Heights, which it captured from Syria in 1967. Thank you. In a moment, I will sign a presidential proclamation recognizing Israel's sovereign right over the Golan Heights. In a tweet, Mr. Trump declared that the plan was of critical strategic and security importance to the state of Israel and regional stability. Trump's approach to contentious issues in the Arab-Israel conflict has created international condemnation, though Trump is unmoved by the criticism. Hello and welcome everyone. We are your media host from Reflevation and Lysia, along with my dad, Anwar Islam, and my adorable little sister, Salwa. So, Salwa, starting with you, what is your response to that? Well, you know, the Syrian representative to the United Nations said on Wednesday that the United States President Donald Trump's recognition of Israeli sovereignty in the Golan Heights leaves only one possible solution to the situation, the use of force. In fact, some allies and reporters have suggested that the timing of the announcement was politically calculated to bolster Netanyahu's campaign in upcoming Israeli election on April 9. This move is also contradictory to international law which does not recognize Israeli sovereignty over territories occupied in, uh, during 1967 war. That we see Trump's behavior contradicts the commitments of previous U.S. president, and many analysts opine that he did it to win the Jewish American lobby. So, why Trump's recognition of the Golan Heights as Israeli territory matters? Uh, well, for you know, uh, Syria said uh, Mr. Trump's decision was a blatant attack uh, on its uh, sovereignty. Israel annexed the Golan Heights in uh, 1981 in a move that is not recognized internationally. A spokesman for United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres said on Monday he was clear that the status of Gulen has not changed. In line with international law and relevant Security Council resolutions, notably Resolution 242 and 497, we do not recognize Israel's sovereignty over the territories occupied by Israel since June 1967 including the Golan Heights, and we do not consider them to be part of the territory of the state of Israel. Uh, critics say that it could uh, also harm Israeli security by cementing uh, Iranian desires to stay in Syria to counter Israel and by eliminating any chance of peace uh, with the future Syrian government. Thanks, Dad. Ian Bremerer, founder and CEO of Risk Consultancy Eurasia Group, wrote in an email note this week that American recognition of the annexation would contravene international law. It would be used by the Russia to legitimize their annexation of Crimea, thus it would make movement on the peace plan considerably more awkward. So, Salah, what do you say? Sure, some are calling it a double standard when it comes to the U.S. response to Russia's annexation of Ukraine, Crimean Peninsula. It also makes things awkward for Washington's Arab allies whose population oppose Israeli seizures of Arab lands. Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Kuwait, Qatar and the United Arab Emirates all rejected Trump's move calling the Golan occupied Arab territory. Thanks, Salwa. The signing, which took place in the White House with the Netanyahu present, makes the United States the only country in the world besides Israel to recognize the annexed territory which comprises the western two-thirds of the Golan. Netanyahu called it history while Syria leveled it as a blatant attack on its sovereignty and pledged to take the territory back by all available means. Turkey's Erdogan pledges to take the territory against the United States and the United Nations. At the same time, France, Germany and Russia quickly voiced their opposition. So that is Trump move helping or hindering the Middle East peace process? Uh, well, for you, you know, while the, while the Arabs never particularly liked US policy in the Middle East, they had some respect for the country. That is now gone and America's reputation has been damaged. 
Trump invites hatred not only for his policies but also of the US establishment itself. Thanks both of you. Donald Trump legitimized Israel's illegal conquest of occupied territory. No country in the world recognizes Israel's rule over the Golden Heights occupied by Israel in 1967 and immediately annexed in 1981 no country that is until now. United States recognition of Israeli sovereignty over the Golden Heights is a diplomatic way of pushing the aggressors. Thanks for watching.